my husband and I have put in a heck of a lot over that um, time frame. Yep. Um, then we also went through the angel groups. So we've got Brisbane Angels Investment, which is, um, you know, great because as you know as well, it's only, it's probably more now, but it was only 2% of female founders Mm. investment it's probably I'm uh, sure it's no more. it's not even more now we've got, like oh. literally it's just the same it's just Is like it? no, no women get money it's I don't now. I don't understand I don't understand um but we've also then got other government grants which is terrific so oh, you know cool. we have been lucky with that and then we're also um just doing crowdfunding so there's a company called my crowd which is um yeah they the, do it for female founders don't yes. they I've just heard yes. about them cool yeah. Yep, and because I'm based in Brisbane, they're based in Brisbane as well. So um, that's been terrific. So we're actually um, about to launch with that too. So um, that's what's that been, process like? There's a lot of there's a lot of paperwork, but <laughs> but, the, but the other the other thing is too. I actually am really liking it because they really do the due diligence so that the investors and the everyday people, yeah, you know, it's got to be done properly. And so kind of. The process, I think, is more stringent than what um, angel groups or other investment companies do. So even yeah. just getting the offer document to have gone back and forth so many times, and I've done so much updates to that. Um, but it's good because I'm checking every single thing. So I feel confident, you know, we've had police checks done. We've done, you know, like, like that's not us, but they have to do that as well to make sure we're not dodgy. Um, so it's, yeah, I'm I'm really enjoying the process. And the other good thing is that, the reason I went down this um, route, road, um, was because after talking to so many retailers and family and friends who know I've been working on it for so long, a lot mm. of them say, oh, I'd love to put in some money. I'd love to support you in some way. And so it's from $249 you can invest oh, to get a cool. piece of shares up to, obviously, if you're not as sophisticated, up to $10,000. Yeah. Um, but so we're just constantly just talking to people and just saying, hey, just so you know, you know, there's no pressure, but if you want to invest to get some shares in Pucto, the try on and Australian fashion, you can, the opportunity's there. So um, that is so cool. And yeah. it's like, it's really, I love this idea of crowdfunding where it is like that, right? There are so many people that aren't sophisticated investors, but that do make yeah. a good wage and want yeah. to support friends, yeah. family, or just great ideas. Yeah. And Love, I do love that my crowd is female founder backed because, you know, I was having this thought the other day that was like, I know we say, okay, only 2% of women get funded. You know, how do we fix that yeah. problem? And I was reflecting on it and I was like, I think the only way we fix it is ourselves. I think yeah. women have to back other women. Like we have to just. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Our pockets and, yeah. support them. and see, I've never, um, see, I, when I was working in the magazines, my boss, she was female, found she's she was female. Mm. She owned the business. And I think out of 22 staff, there was 21 of us that were female. Yeah. So <laughs> I've um I've never I've never seen the the male female thing so much. I've always just gone, well, we're all humans, we should be doing it anyway. So I've never understood the bias towards men, but I kind of think, well, you just gotta go out and do it yourself. If you don't, you can't worry about you know, them running their own race. You just have to run your own race and find the people around you to help you, whether they are male or female. It's just, um, yeah. I completely know. agree. Like you can't get bogged down in the stats and no. how negative it, negative it is and how bad it is. Like you do, you are so right. You do have to run your own race if you're going to get anywhere. Yeah. Like you have to kind of go, I'm going to do it regardless. Yeah. And I think we also have to be really careful. <laughs> go off on my tangent um I think we also have to be really careful because then you know I'm working with someone that's terrific and he's a, a bloke yeah white bloke living in the city there's no there's not many grants and opportunities for him now because he's the minority who's had all the funding before so it's not like you know it's that yeah. kind of fine line but now he's on the other side of it as well going oh which I, I get and it's it's not it's all just it's all odd but it's um I appreciate the funding that we're able to apply for <laughs> Totally. And it is hilarious too. I remember one year I was buying um, as like business, not business development, like personal development for staff. I was like buying business chicks memberships for the girls. Yeah. And then I was like, for the guys, I was like, oh, I don't know what to, like, there's nothing for yeah. you. Like we've, yeah. women have gone out and created all of these all platforms and networks yeah. and opportunities. And I went, I don't even know. You, I guess you guys just inherently are fine. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but it is funny. There are so yeah. many opportunities for women. Like you do actually have to 
yeah, I think forget about the big stats and just look and research in your area. Yeah, yeah. And just stay true to yourself as well. So, you know. And back yourself if you can. Like if there are ways to actually launch something without funding, like like do it in small pieces and get it to market, like actually just back yourself. Absolutely, absolutely. 